Hi, this is Adam Greenman from Greenman Garden Tools and this is our 9.5 inch heavy duty pruner. This guide will show you how to look after and maintain your secateurs for years to come. You're going to need some wire wool, a 13 and a 14 millimeter spanner, some oil, a screwdriver, a sharpening stone or steel, and a rag. Stage one, first we need to remove the volute spring. To do this, we need to place a flathead screwdriver just behind the spring itself with a little bit of a push and then it should simply pull off. This stops the parts being catapulted across the workshop. Stage two, with a 30 millimeter spanner on the top nut and a 40 millimeter spanner on the back, remove the bolt. Stage three. In some cases, the blade may be stuck. If this is the case, press down on something firm like the workbench and the blade will simply pop off. Stage four. Inspect the blade, looking for any uneven signs of wear. And with some wire wool, give it a scrub to remove any of the sap or any other residue. Stage five, whilst keeping note of the bevel on the top side of the blade, with a sharpening stone of steel, follow this bevel all the way around at an angle of 20 degrees, keeping a nice even pressure. Then turn the blade over, and with the, the file or sharpening stone flat against the back of the blade, rub it across the surface, just to remove any burrs. Stage six, put a drop of oil on both sides of the blades and with an oily rag, give it a rub. Stage seven, with the flat side of the blade facing up, Push it firmly on the locating pin and ensure it's a snug fit. Stage eight. With some wire wool, give the other cutting surface a once over just to remove any residue and sap. Once that's done, I rub down with the oily rag Stage nine, screw the main bolts through the back of the handle with the blade on and thread the other handle over the top. Tighten the bolt, thumb tight. And attach the nut. with the number 13 spanner, tighten up, being careful not to over tighten. Stage 10, readjust the flute spring and give the secretary a few squeezes to make sure it doesn't feel too tight or too loose, adjusting accordingly with the spanners at the back and the front. 
And there we have it. 